In this video, we will analyze Kaveri Seeds Company in the fundamental point of view. We will do both the qualitative and quantitative fundamental analysis on the Kaveri Seeds. We highly suggest you to invest in this company for a long-term investment point of view. Why? We will explain you in this video. Hi viewers, welcome to the world of Get Trading. We will see the history, business model, financials of this Kaveri and finally we will discuss our future outlook of this company. Right, Kaveri Seeds Limited Company is a seed processing company. They process good quality seeds and then supply it to the farmers. This company supplies various varieties of seeds, major such as BT cotton, hybrid paddy, specialty rice and many more. Rest you can see here. There is a reason why we spelled out these BT cotton, hybrid paddy and asked rest of them to see yourselves. You will surely get to know why. This company was established in 1976 by G. V. Bhaskar Rao. This company has over 1 lakh plus growers, has a wide coverage of over 65,000 acres, have a full coverage in different agroclimate conditions on Pan-India basics. This company was listed in 2007. When this company was listed, BT technology in cotton fields is new in the market. This BT outsmarted the normal Monsanto. In simple terms, BT cotton is a genetically modified cotton plant which has the capacity to face the boloworm insects. These boloworms are a regular threat to cotton. So, when this BT cotton was introduced, farmers happily migrated to this. It is a game changer in the cotton field. When the company was listed, BT was in startup stage. Numbers tell us everything. In BT cotton, this Kaveri seeds has 166 crore sales in 2007. But in 2015, it has reached to a mammoth growth of 1100,000 crores only in BT cotton. If such is the growth, why will market keep quiet? It has got an appreciation where the value of 100 rupees stock has increased to 5000 rupees. Yes, the stocks of 100 rupees has increased to rupees 5000. Then the shares were split from face value of 10 rupees to 2 rupees face value and so the share value was adjusted to rupees 1000. Now the second phase. By 2015, BT cotton usage was increased to 90%. Maximum was explored in these 5 years. Now, there was not much growth. Almost sales are stagnant. I am not saying that there is a problem in the company's sales. They were good. The revenues and profits were also great. But the company was stagnant. No growth. This affected the PE and so the company could not get much appreciation later and also lost few investors' interest. But now the reason why we are suggesting this stock to you is the problem which Kaveri sees face due to stagnant market of BT cotton is now being addressed by other products. Hybrid paddy mostly and little bit of vegetable seeds too. We can say this by looking at the hybrid paddy. The hybrid paddy sales in 2015 was 60 crores and in 2020 it has reached to 160 crores. You must have to know that now the trend is fully hybrid paddy. Listen to simple calculations. China's hybrid paddy market value is 90% but in India it's only 7% which means there is a great scope for this hybrid paddy. Similar to how BT Cotton led the growth of Kaveri, now this hybrid paddy will lead the growth, for sure. We can also see the growth in other products too. If we look in vegetable seeds entry, the business runs on 40 crores. Its volume may not be high, that is, it may not be helpful to sales in top lines, but it is a great margin business 
bottom line numbers which means in profits its share is high if we talk about fundamentals its book value is 211 rupees roce 23.5% returns of equity 22.5% promoters holder 56.4% operating profit margin is 29% like this key ratios are all in line if you need more analysis no capital expenditure is required it has well established sales network and the same can be used for any new product which will be introduced market penetration is also high due to high network scalability is very easy now If there are no much expenses then what are they doing with the profits from several years they are buying back some shares what is the advantage of buybacking if we look from investors point of view due to sinking of equity for same profits eps gets increases which will add to the price appreciation so good investors point of view another advantage is zero tax as it is a agri based product agri based products do not have tax zero tax low capex equity getting less sales will start increasing because of all of this automatically pe gets increases and so the price of the stock increases for this we have published two videos in which we have explained about it on a standard way we have been posting the videos actually when it was rupees 480 i thought of telling about it but thought about explaining the pe than explaining about it would be better for you to understand more easily so finally conclusion is that it's a good company it will get a decent pe as we thought if we get a growth in hybrid paddy this company sales would be high in fact a single product can change the complete fate of the company in this business segment in the listed companies no doubt kaveri seeds is the top level we think the old glory would be back by the way our government policies the agri sector especially in farming there are more chances of growth those who are in long term view they can add the script to their portfolio there will be good growth in long term If there will be any uncertainties we will update you soon we will alert you regarding your exit so viewers this is all about kaveri seeds have a happy safe and profitable investing thank you